on behalf of the Miss Universe organization, a joint venture between NBC Universal and Donald J. Trump, live from the Atlantis Paradise Resort in the Bahamas, the 2011 Miss Teen USA. <laughs> It's the 2011 Miss Teen USA. Please welcome to the stage our host, Las Vegas radio personality, Chet Buchanan. Go! Let's go! Let's go! You guys ready to have a good time? I can't hear you! Oh, we're going to have fun tonight. We are going to have fun. To no, don't stop. Keep going. i got a long way to go over here. Yeah, you know what? They can all hear you, they can all see you. Who's gonna win tonight? Who's gonna win tonight? Yes! Yes! I don't know how many other pageants y'all have been to, but I like it loud like this. I like it loud and crazy and stuff lit up and people throwing their little brothers and sisters in the air. I love all of that. Thank you very much for being here. Welcome to the 2011 Miss Teen USA Swimsuit and Evening Gown Preliminary Competition. My name is Chet Buchanan. How many of us know each other from Miss USA and Miss Universe? We've seen each other there. Good times, fun stuff. I know you are not here to see me. You're here to see these 51 beautiful ladies and you're here to see my equally beautiful co-host, Please give a warm welcome to Miss Teen USA 2010 from Maryland, Cami Crawford. Look at you with the standing ovation. One more time, Miss Teen USA 2010, Cammie Crawford. Thank you so much. This is fun, right? This is very fun. We were just very talking fun. backstage. You were just, oh my gosh, it was just a year ago yeah. and it's gone by so quick. No, when I landed, I was like, I was just here like two weeks ago. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm back again. But here we are. Here we here are. We, and you look, doesn't she look amazing? Thank you. Doesn't she look amazing? But doesn't he look so handsome? Shoot, they ain't looking at me. I could be up here in overalls and flip-flops, and I'm standing next to her. It does not matter, but thank you. That's very nice. Oh. So, since you've done this, and for the, how many of you have seen this before, Miss Teen USA? Anybody? I hope Good? so. Good. For those of you who don't understand how it all works, and since you've been through it, why don't you explain a little to them? Right. Well, each teen is going to be competing in their swimsuit and evening gowns, and those each count for a third of the contestant's overall score. 
You can cheer for them real quick while they head backstage. You can, real quick. I know. I know. And God bless you. You were all being so nice and you were all being so polite. It was very sweet of you. It was very sweet of you, but I know you're just you're excited. The remaining third of the score comes from personal interviews with our judges, which will be conducted tomorrow, okay? Right, but before we get started with the swimsuit competition, I think we need to meet these amazing 51 young ladies. You wanna meet them? You wanna meet them? Let's meet our 51 contestants in the Miss Teen USA competition. Denali Whiting, 19, Crossview, Alaska. Molly Argue, 18, Paradise Valley, Arizona. Mary Kate Hartley, 17, Hamburg, Arkansas. Alexis Swanstrom, 17, San Diego, California. Kaylee Ray, 17, Castle Rock, Colorado. Samantha Soika, 19, Granby, Connecticut. Amanda Debus, 18, Middletown, Delaware. Imani Bentham, 19, Washington, District of Columbia. Mikhail Crockett, 18, Jacksonville, Florida. Kristen Robinson, 17, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Courtney Coleman, 17, Honolulu, Hawaii. Clara Hollingsworth, 18, Preston, Idaho. Hey, Chiggerson, 19, Cutler, Illinois. Jessica Book, 16, Bedford, Indiana. Michelle Orr, 18, Hampton, Iowa. Taylor Clark, 17, Topeka, Kansas. Stephanie Jones, 17, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Elizabeth Heinen, 16, Eunice, Louisiana. Alexis McElwain, 15, Portland, Maine. Kirsten Nicholson, 18, Sykesville, Maryland. Kay Tedro, 18, South Hadley, Massachusetts. Taylor Sherman, 17, Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Hannah Corbett, 17, Excelsior, Minnesota. Sarah J. Bobo, 19, Corinth, Mississippi. Sydney Sotomayor, 17, St. Louis, Missouri. Saban Doxy, 18, Sean Montana. Madison Novak, 17, Lincoln, Nebraska. Ashley Brown, 17, Las Vegas, Nevada. Annie Reed, 17, Sandwich, New Hampshire. Savannah Schechter, 17, Bar Hills, New Jersey. Alexa Castle, 18, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Lisa Gillard, 19, Brooklyn, New York. Vanessa McClellan, 19, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Avon, Ohio. Alma Sandoval, 18, Oklahoma City, 
Oklahoma. Kayla Roush, 18, Sio, Oregon. Madison Longstreth, 16, Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Lindsay Bougie, 18, Situate, Rhode Island. Keila Child, 17, Charleston, South Carolina. Lexi Shank, 17, Irene, South Dakota. Kayla Light, 18, Nashville, Tennessee. Danielle Doty, 18, Harlingen, Texas. Mikkel Knight, 17, Salt Lake City, Utah. Bridget Martin, 14, Stowe, Vermont. Susie Evans, 17, Pocosin, Virginia. Cheyenne Bantine, 17, Tri-Cities, Washington. Susan King, 16, Fairmont, West Virginia. Victoria Johnston, 19, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Golden, 17, Gillette, Wyoming. One more time, how about a big hand for all of our contestants? One of these young ladies that you just met, by the way, hi everybody, we got a packed house in here tonight, we got people up here, we got people in the wings over there. One of these ladies that you have just met is going to become the next Miss Teen USA. And just one more time, who's it gonna be? curious <laughs> we have a lot of work to do before that though right definitely well this year's work. teens not only look great but they are also very accomplished young women absolutely and as they work the runway here in a couple of minutes in their swimsuits cammy and i are going to tell you something about each of them that you probably didn't know right well i for one know how anxious they are to get out here so chet why don't you tell the audience how tonight's swimsuit competition will work here's how it goes the teens will compete one by one in groups of 10. Now after the 10th contestant, then the entire group will come back on stage for what they call the group look before the next 10 come to the stage. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to start the 2011 Miss Teen USA swimsuit competition? I need more. Hey, let, me, let me try this. Are you ready? Great. Then let's begin with Alabama. Baron Ray Williams was on her high school student council and an active key club member. She stays involved in her community, assisting with the Little Sisters program. Please welcome Alabama. Next up is Alaska. Denali Whiting is an honor list student in college working toward a double major in English and biology. While in high school, she was captain of the cheerleading team. Give it up for Alaska. Arizona. Molly argues says it's important to give back, which is why she works with the Best Buddies organization. She enjoys writing and has even been published in a popular teen magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, Arizona. We need to work on the spelling, but good job over there, guys. Nice job. Next up is Arkansas. Mary Kate Hartley is one smart cookie. Not only did she graduate from high school a year early, she was secretary of the National Honor Society and a student council representative. Please welcome Arkansas. California. Alexis Swanstrom was once named the top tap dancer in the United States. 
She eventually went on to compete in a tournament in Germany where she placed fifth in the world championships. Please welcome California. Colorado. Kaylee Ray Pavillard is proud of the work that she's done with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. She helped raise over $15,000 last year and hopes to raise even more in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Colorado. Connecticut. Community service is an important part of Samantha Soika's life. She has worked with the Special Olympics, the Youth Action Council, and has even raised funds for cancer research. Giving back, it's Connecticut. Delaware. Amanda Debus was a member of both the French and Musical Honor Societies in high school. She's an accomplished dancer and a competitive baton twirler. Put your hands together for Delaware. District of Columbia. Imani Bentham has always had a soft spot for kids. She's involved with a group that tutors young children and has helped create a program for victims of domestic violence and their offspring. Give it up for District of Columbia. Florida. Mikhail Crockett founded a mentoring program for teenage girls. She says she hopes to help young women develop good study habits and a healthy lifestyle. Let's hear it for Florida. How about another big round of applause for our first 10 contestants? Don't they look great? continue our swimsuit competition with Georgia. Kristen Robinson is very ambitious. She hosts a cable television show, was a nationally ranked hurdler in the Junior Olympics, and even started her own community service club at her school. Doing it all, it's Georgia. Hawaii. Courtney Coleman proudly graduated high school with honors. In addition, she is a dominant volleyball star and considers herself honest and dedicated to succeeding at everything she does. Please welcome Hawaii. Idaho. Clara Hollingsworth was her state's rodeo queen in high school and a former champion pole bender. She enjoys studying history and recently received her dental assistant certification. Give it up for Idaho. Illinois. Paige Higgerson has spent countless hours volunteering. In addition to supporting local blood drives and the Adopt-A-Highway program, she has worked with the Special Olympics. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Illinois. Indiana. Jessica Book is a member of a church youth group and the 4-H Horse and Pony Club. She is a working model and was even on a nationally televised commercial. Give it up for Indiana. Next up, it's Iowa. Rochelle Orr is currently a freshman at Iowa State University. She's a member of her college's nationally ranked dance team and has proudly raised money for her local food pantry. Give it up for Iowa. Kansas. Taylor Clark has won over 50 awards and scholarships in the last six years. She mentors children across the country, helping inspire them and teaching them how to dance. Please welcome Kansas. Please welcome Kentucky. Stephanie Jones has worked with the Big Brothers Big Sisters program for the past two years. She graduated high school a year early and will be starting college in the fall. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, Kentucky. Louisiana. Elizabeth Heinen has traveled all around the world on mission trips. She tells us she'd like to start a foundation helping children who come from abusive homes. Let's hear it for Louisiana. Maine. Alexis McElwain is a dog lover, which is why she volunteers at an animal shelter. She feels competing at Miss Teen USA has helped her grow as a person, and she is so happy for the opportunity. Put your hands together for Maine. How about a nice round of applause for our second group of contestants? Let's keep moving with our next group of teens. Please welcome my home state, Maryland. Kirsten Nicholson says she loves children. Of all the community service she's done, she says the most rewarding has been the mentoring elementary school students. Give it up for Maryland. You're not judging, so you can say that. You can say that. You can give it up for your home state. Sure. Sure. I rep all of the DMV. Moving on with Massachusetts. Kay Tatro created an anti-bullying campaign in her home state. She says she enjoys using her passion and energy to help motivate others. Please put your hands together for Massachusetts. Michigan. 
Taylor Sherman says it's very important for young women to take pride in themselves. She has been a competitive dancer for 10 years and once even danced with the Rockettes. Let's hear it for Michigan. Minnesota. Hannah Corbett is a member of the National Honor Society. She is also a certified scuba diver and enjoys playing volleyball in her spare time. Put your hands together for Minnesota. Mississippi. Sarah Bobo is a college freshman majoring in business administration. She is a Ronald McDonald House volunteer and has worked as an instructor at a cheerleading camp. Please welcome Mississippi. Missouri. Sydney Stottlemyer enjoys visiting patients at Children's and Veterans Hospitals in her home state. She's very involved in her community and even won the prestigious Hometown Hero Award. Make some noise for Missouri. Montana. Saban Doxy helped raise funds for two teenagers in need of lung transplants. She was recently accepted into Kennesaw State University, where she'll be studying business. Please welcome Montana. Nebraska. Madison Novak goes to a local elementary school every week to help children who are struggling with reading. She says that giving back isn't just rewarding, it helps to recharge her batteries too. Please welcome Nebraska. Nevada. Ashley Brown wrote a book about sign language that will be published sometime next year. She enjoys volunteering and supports many organizations, including Make-A-Wish and Opportunity Village. Give it up for Nevada. New Hampshire. Now, just because Annie Reed is from a small town, it doesn't mean that she can't make a big difference. She speaks with elementary school students about setting goals and works with food drives around the holidays. Please welcome New Hampshire. How about a big round of applause for our third group of contestants? You can let them know. You can let them know. Don't they look great? They've worked hard. Let's keep rolling with our next group of girls. Please welcome New Jersey. Savannah Schechter is a huge advocate for giving back. She's performed at benefit concerts, volunteers at a local soup kitchen, and donates food and clothing for the Salvation Army. Put your hands together for New Jersey. There's a lot of New Jersey in the house, isn't there? There's a lot of New Jersey in the house. Next up is New Mexico. Alexa Castle volunteers a minimum of two hours every week. She recently held a bone marrow registry drive for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Put your hands together. 
together for New Mexico. New York. As a sophomore in college, Lisa Gerlard says she's worked hard and proudly to make the honor roll. She loves to mo model and was recently on the cover of a magazine. Give it up for New York. Next up, it's North Carolina. Vanessa McClelland is a recipient of the prestigious President's Volunteer Service Award. She has visited wounded soldiers at Walter Reed Medical Center and enjoys organizing charitable events through her church. Please welcome North Carolina. North Dakota. Audra Mari is a three-sport athlete and aspiring model. She is an honor roll student and once traveled to New Orleans to help clean up after a hurricane. Please give a warm welcome to North Dakota. Our next contestant is from Ohio. Morgan Smeagol says that she likes a good challenge and does not give up when situations get tough. She won a gold medal in volleyball at the Junior Olympics and is a supporter of the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Make some noise for Ohio. Oklahoma. Alma Sandoval says she's eager to make a positive impact on America's youth. She was class president of her high school and enjoys dancing in her spare time. Put your hands together for Oklahoma. Next up, it's Oregon. Kayla Rausch would like to work in the medical field one day. She currently volunteers at an animal sanctuary where she feeds and cares for abused and neglected pets. Please welcome Oregon. Pennsylvania. Madison Longstreth enjoys volunteering at her local retirement village. She assists with special activities and says she's developed many close relationships with the residents. Put your hands together for Pennsylvania. Rhode Island. Lindsay Bucci spent a summer volunteering at a community food bank distributing meals to the less fortunate. She is an accomplished gymnast and has won several state championships. Give it up for Rhode Island. And keep making noise now for our fourth group of contestants. Let them know. Let them hear it. Let's bring out the final group of girls. Please welcome South Carolina. Keela Childs is passionate about acting and has even appeared in three commercials. When she's not on camera, she's helping others as a supporter for Toys for Tots and Relay for Life. Please welcome South Carolina.
South Dakota. Lexi Schenk has been a member of her school's student council since she was in the eighth grade. She says community service is very important, which is why she is active in her church's youth group. Make some noise for South Dakota. Tennessee. Caitlin White created her own community service organization called Just Move. She has spoken to over a thousand teenagers promoting positive, healthy decision making. Making a difference, it's Tennessee. Next up, it's Texas. Danielle Doty started a coat and blanket drive after noticing a guy who was sitting outside a shelter and he was cold. She says that volunteering makes her feel amazing. With a heart of gold, it's Texas. Utah. Mikkel Knight says she relates both to teens and adults and is proud of the fact that she's res fiscally responsible. She admires Marilyn Monroe because she was independent and never held herself back. Put your hands together for Utah. Vermont. Bridget Martin has participated in several community service programs over the past few years. In addition to working with the Special Olympics, she's volunteered with the Humane Society and was also a peer mediator. Let's hear it for Vermont. Virginia. Susie Evans says she gets a thrill from being on stage in front of an audience. In high school, she volunteered with over 20 organizations and was her class secretary and treasurer for all four years. Please welcome Virginia. Washington. Cheyenne Van Tyne started her own organization for those with special needs called Cheyenne's Champions. She says she always strives to make others feel treasured. Make some noise for Washington. West Virginia. Susan King is a star midfielder on her high school soccer team. She enjoys mentoring young girls and is humbled by the way they look to her for advice and strength. Ladies and gentlemen, it's West Virginia. Wisconsin. Victoria Johnston says that Habitat for Humanity is a charity that she enjoys because it brings communities together. She's a talented dancer and has been singing since the first grade. Let's hear it for Wisconsin. Wyoming. Ashley Golden helped raise over $20,000 for a village in Tanzania through Project Africa. She has been a competitive dancer for 11 years and has received numerous awards. Please keep it going for Wyoming. One more big round of applause for our final group of contestants. Get those signs and pictures up. Get them up. 
Don't hold back, South Carolina. I know you got one right here. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our swimsuit competition. Let's give our contestants one more round of applause. Yeah, who did you like in swimsuit? Who did you like in swimsuit? Who did you like? What was, after swimsuit, what was the first thing you ate that you couldn't eat before swimsuit? Ooh, well, you know, when you're training for so long, chips and pizzas and things like yeah. that, well, at least for me, it wasn't even appetizing. Yeah, you're living moment. on... Not right at the moment. You're living on a salad. A couple weeks later. Salad, no dressing, Red Bull. Cupcakes are my first, my first. Cupcakes thing. was the first? Oh, yeah. Chocolate, vanilla? Don't have a preference. Mom's? All. Didn't my mom's cupcakes, cupcakes didn't matter? All That's cupcakes. Great. I don't discriminate against the cupcakes. Now, like a lot of those girls and like you and I, giving back is something you're very passionate about. Tell us a little bit about your charitable work. Right. Well, I work with a lot of our official charitable alliances for Miss Teen USA. So I've been working with Girl Talk, Project Sunshine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Girl Talk, if we don't know what that is. What's Girl Talk? Well, Girl Talk is actually an organization where all these girls come in, and it's based in Atlanta. And they get to talk to us about you know, anything that's bothering them, things that they don't really feel comfortable talking to their parents about. They can all come in and talk to older girls who are maybe, you know, 17, 18, and get some advice. And you said Project Sunshine. Project Sunshine. Project What's Sunshine that? is an organization for kids in hospitals. So I would go into the office. I was literally in there maybe three times a month, um, making care packages for the kids with little coloring books and just fun stuff. And they have really fun stickers there that there's they let me keep some. There's a guy right over here who has his best buddy shirt. Oh, nice. The best buddy shirt. Is I know it Mark Wiley? It? <laughs> it is Mark Wiley, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Tell everybody about Best Buddies. I love this charity. Best Buddies is an organization that's very near and dear to my heart because I worked with them when I was Miss Maryland Teen USA. So um, with Best Buddies, it's an organization for people with mental disabilities. And I actually did a 20-mile bike ride in Hyannis Port with them that I didn't think I was mm. going to be able to complete, but I did. Get involved with Best Buddies. <laughs> It'll make you cry. It'll make you cry in a good way. Mm -hmm. And what is this? What is Same Sky? Ooh, Same Sky. Another favorite. Um, it's actually for the women who survived the 1994 genocide in Rwanda. And they make these glass bead bracelets. Yeah. You can. They're really you amazing. Can. They're really amazing. I have about 30 of them now. So it's becoming more like my Starbucks addiction with the Same Sky <laughs> bracelets. So um, they're just amazing. And they bring the bracelets to America and sell them here, and it helps the women rebuild their lives and support their children. And it's amazing, an amazing women's organization. We use that term amazing a lot. Isn't she amazing? Seriously. Seriously. Oh, stop. No, I will <laughs> tell you, no, I'll tell you, though, because there are a lot of people who talk the talk, but you have walked the walk. You've put this year to good use, including traveling all around the yeah. world. Tell us about some of the places that you've been as Miss Teen USA. Well, I'm actually the first teen to travel in a very long time to be able to travel internationally. And when I came in for the Miss Teen USA pageant, that was one thing I said, if and when I win, because you have to speak everything into existence. Right. Um, that but the you first knew, thing. She knew. I was a judge last year. I knew an interview that she knew. She was like, I'm going to be Miss Teen USA. I was like, OK, well, hey. yeah. there you go. So fine. <laughs> Well, the first thing that I wanted to change was I wanted the teen to be able to travel internationally more. So I got to go to Spain, and I got to go to Portugal, and my favorite trip was actually um, I got to go to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, with the USO. All of those trips were with the USO, and it was life-changing. Awesome. Awesome. I'm guessing, what do you figure, we got about another 25 hours of you as Miss Teen USA? Maybe. I know, but it is what it is. We got to... For 25, so 26 mean. hours. <laughs> it's got to be bittersweet. We were back, like we said earlier, backstage. You were like, I can't believe we're yeah. already here again. It's so weird. It's so weird. But I'm really ready to start college. So what's next? I'm going to the University of Alabama, and I was accepted. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. All Auburn fans, please leave. Wow. Well, I know she said Miss I'm Florida the... Teen USA and Miss Alabama Teen USA are both Auburn fans. I'm going to be Rolling Tide this year. Um, I was accepted into their pre-med program, so I will be on my way to becoming a dermatologist. And by the way, we're doing this very nice. By the way, we're doing this for Twitter followers as well, so make sure that you follow, because we're right back there. We're, um, we're streaming on MissTeenUSA.com and 17.com. Right, so, so follow me, at the real Cami. It's very important that you go on Twitter right now and click follow, not yeah. unfollow. Are you still going to try and give me a hard time for, about following you? Did you check? 
Did you follow me? Did you me? check? Did you follow Did you check? Me? The question is, did you, did you check? Follow? Are you following me? No. No. I'm not a stalker like you. I didn't check mine. I don't. I checked she my was like, of how many, seriously, day. how many followers do you have? 1,336. She gave me a hard time earlier this afternoon. She goes, you're not following me. I said, how do you know that? Well, like a thousand on the, people. at the Real Teen USA Twitter, which is the Twitter that the new Miss Teen USA will be picking up when I give up my title, there's about... 7,000 something on there. I cranked that up about 4,000 this like year because I bothered everybody like to follow that. me. I like that. Follow or go online, Chet Buchanan, C-H-E-T-B-U-C-H-A-N-N. <laughs> go ahead. So it sounds like you're going to be busy going to college and everything. Now, one of these 51 young ladies has a very exciting year ahead of her as well. Right, they certainly do. And all 51 contestants got a taste of the good life this week as they explored the beautiful grounds of Atlantis, Paradise Island. The girls spent time at Poseidon's Throne, Sea Lion Experience, Dolphin Key, Atlantis Pals, Climbers Rush, and Crush, Atlantis's teen nightclub. They were also spoiled with a delicious dinner and reception. Have you been to the Great Hall of Waters yet? Say yes. Delicious. Say yes. Don't clap. Say yes. Say yes. Have, okay, if you have not been yet, will you go this weekend? Say yes. It's amazing. And if you're watching online, get down here to Atlantis and go see the Great Hall of Waters. It's unbelievable. Wednesday night, they did that. And then Thursday, they spent an amazing afternoon at AquaVenture. That's the unprecedented 141-acre waterscape. Also cool. You need to come down here. Mm -hmm. you do. They enjoyed a nonstop water experience consisting of thrilling new water slides, a mile-long river ride, and amazing special effects that add an extreme level of excitement. Yeah, and it sounds like they've had a lot of fun. Have you guys been having fun? Are you having a good time? Good. Good. I know it's hard to remember that there's a lot of work being done right now. The girls have had a lot of fun, but they're very focused, as many of you know, friends. How many friends and family and parents are here tonight? Friends and family and parents? So you know. You know how focused they are. Mm -hmm. um, taking notes right back over there is our esteemed panel of judges. They face many tough decisions. And once again, as somebody who did that last year, I am so much happier to be up here. It's, it's a much easier job, and I get to hang out with Cammie, so it's not so bad. <laughs> um, they're facing many tough decisions as they attempt to narrow this field down from 51 to the top 15. But our judges are certainly up for the challenge. They're a diverse group of men and women from the worlds of entertainment, business, and fashion. I think it's time we meet them. I think so. You want to meet them? Watch the screens. They're great people, too. Um, her best-selling book, Rock What You've Got, helps guide young ladies through their turbulent teens, encouraging them to love themselves and stay healthy. Please welcome Katherine Schwarzenegger. He's a former MTV executive who helped to launch the careers of Mandy Moore and Nick Cannon. His entertainment company, VPE Talent, specializes in casting hosts and reality TV programs. Give it up for Vinny Potestivo. Vinny, Vinny, you're casting hosts, huh? Casting hosts, are you? Need a guy who shaves his head? Okay, just He's saying. Good. Our next judge is a celebrity skin care specialist. Oh, I know you've already had conversations oh, with her. Oh, she's my dermatologist, and she's actually mentored me a lot. She is the consulting dermatologist to the Miss Universe organization, Dr. Cheryl Karcher. As president of People's Choice, he oversees the annual award show and the year-round entertainment website, peopleschoice.com. He was chosen as a pop culture es expert by the producers of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Fred Nelson. That's a good dude right there, Fred Nelson. He was a that's judge a for good, me last year, too. That's right. He helped put you up here. That's true. Thanks, Another Fred. good guy has worked with many of Hollywood's biggest stars as president and CEO of Coleman Entertainment Group, an entertainment and fashion-based management firm, Mr. B.J. Coleman. She helps launch new brands into the fashion industry as founder and CEO of Art Zulu Inc. She's designed for major retailers, including Neiman Marcus and a favorite of mine, Bloomingdale's. Laura Flaw. And it's nowhere here in the script, but once again, how much do you love Atlantis? How amazing is this place? You having a good time while you're here? I love Atlantis. And she is the Senior Vice President of Special Events and Entertainment for Kersner International, Michelle Wiltshire.
Now I know some of you in the crowd have already picked your favorites, but we aren't finished yet. We still have some fancy dresses to check out. Once again, who were those favorites? Who did you like? Who did you like? Uh, before we get to evening gown, before we get to evening gown, let's talk about tomorrow night's show just for a second. I can't wait. I'll be giving up my crown. But not only will the beautiful Miss Kia Hampton be performing and singing live, but the reigning Miss USA and Miss Universe will be in the house. Absolutely. The hosts are, the hosts are decent tomorrow night. Miss Teen USA 2005, Allie LaForce, will be here. She, yeah, cheer for Allie. Thank goodness. Because I will be here tomorrow night as well, but do not let that scare you off. It will be a great show, I promise. I'll be here. You'll be here. She'll keep me in line. Um, the show tonight, tomorrow night, starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're watching online, 5 p.m. Pacific. What, is it 3 in Hawaii? I'm not, sure what, I'm not sure how the math works. But 8 p.m. right here in the Grand Ballroom. For everybody here in Atlanta, doors open at 7.30. And once again, be sure to tell your friends. So if you're watching right now, tell your friends, MissTeenUSA.com and 17.com. Tomorrow night, 8 Eastern. Right, but Chet, we still have a little matter to take care of tonight. Yeah, we're ready now. You ready now? We're ready now. We need to see these young ladies compete in tonight's evening gown competition. It is important to remember, because I know how you are. You'll be down there going, I know about that dress. Or I love that dress. <laughs> it's not about the gown. The judges will be judging on poise, grace, and confidence of these amazing teens. Be kind and cheer loud for them. Mm -hmm. And as was the case with swimsuits, the ladies will be competing in groups of 10. So what do you say, Chet? You guys ready? Let's begin the Miss Teen USA 2011 Evening Gown Competition. Alabama. Alaska. Arizona. Arkansas. California. Colorado. Connecticut.
Delaware. District of Columbia. Florida. And once again, a big round of applause for our first 10 contestants. Don't they look great? Let them know. Thank you, ladies. Let's get going with the second group of contestants now, starting with Georgia. Hawaii. Idaho. Illinois. Indiana.
Iowa. Kansas. Kentucky. Louisiana. Maine. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our second group of contestants. Thank you, ladies. You don't have to stop. You don't have to stop. I told you we are not being polite here tonight. You never have to stop cheering. Let's continue on with our third group of girls. Please welcome Maryland. Massachusetts. Michigan.
Minnesota. Mississippi. Missouri. Montana. Nebraska. Nevada. New Hampshire. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our third group of contestants. Let them know you love them. Thank you, ladies. Let's get started with our next group of girls. We'll kick it off with New Jersey. New Mexico.
New York. North Carolina. North Dakota. Ohio. Oklahoma. Oregon. Pennsylvania. How about another big round of applause for our fourth group of contestants? Don't they look great? Let them know. Thank you, ladies. Now let's get started with our final group. First up, South Carolina.
South Dakota. Tennessee. Texas. Utah. Vermont. Virginia. Washington. West Virginia. Wisconsin.
Wyoming. Now, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our final group of contestants. great this oh, will not be easy for the judges at all I feel sorry for you guys they did look great didn't they who did you like there who did you like there they can hear you back there scream one more time scream one more time yes we will find out who the judges have selected tomorrow evening you didn't think we were gonna do it all right now did you really uh, as we mentioned earlier, the show will be held live here at Atlantis at 8 p.m. in this very ballroom. There are still tickets available at the box office. And don't forget, again, MissTeenUSA.com and 17.com right back here tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern. Well, before we wrap up this evening, can we bring out my girls one last time? Let's bring them out. Yes, everybody on your feet. Let's see those signs. Let's see those pictures. One more time for all 51 of our amazing, stunning, incredible contestants. They've done an amazing job. All right, well, if you like what you see, you can vote online for tomorrow evening's Miss Photogenic Teen USA Award, but you only have until midnight tonight. So Two and, you and a half have to hours. Go now. Two and a half hours. Go, go quick. Go now. This year's winner will receive a special prize package, including the chance to walk the red carpet at the People's Choice Awards. So vote for your favorite at www.peopleschoice.com. We have some people we've got to thank tonight, too, before we go. Right. <laughs> you guys oh, are so ahead. excited. Keep screaming. Do it. You guys are so excited. We'd it. like to extend a special thanks to Atlantis Paradise Island, our host for the 2011 Miss Teen USA competition. And I'd also like to thank our parents, our judges, state directors, and the entire Miss Teen USA production team. You guys have done a great job. And you ladies, you guys have done amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Also, a special thank you to Sherry Hill, Cooey Australia Swimwear, Pursuit of the Crown Cosmetics, the New York Film Academy, Farouk Systems, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, my co-host, Miss Teen USA 2010, Cammie Crawford. Oh, stop. She was really good. Stop. You no, were good. Give going. me some up high. Keep going. <laughs> right here. Right here. <laughs> Cammy Crawford. Thank Let's you. see if I can get one more out of him. Cammy Crawford. <laughs> Chad no, Buchanan. Yeah, see? Nothing. It's okay. They're here okay. to see you. It's all good. Now, if you'd like to pre-order a DVD of the 2011 Miss Teen USA competition at a special price, all you have to do is fill out the form available at the box office for everybody who's here in the ballroom. You will be the first to receive the DVD before anybody else. Don't forget, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. here in this ballroom, 8 o'clock Eastern, Miss Teen USA, 17.com. We'll see you here. One more time. Let them know. Who am I going to crown? 
Thank you once again to Cammie Crawford. My name's Chet Buchanan. Thank we will you. see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.